is definitely enough for me, dog. <laughs> I am muted. Pyro, hold on. All right, good shot from Gracious Pup. I'm not gonna take that away from but Pyro, I know you saw that rule one break. But yeah, <laughs> big mute game. <laughs> they are lucky I was muted because we we saw a clear rule one break right in front of our faces. Shame, shame on them. Touch there, Asher. Trying to get it to go, but now the field flips. Professional streamer, by the way. <laughs> Look, I just feel like you disrespect the game ignoring a rule one. And both captains have agreed to uh, a post-game interview, so remind me to ask about it, please. Alpha up. Down, Chronic Asher. Trying to look, trying to shadow Gracious Pup, but he's already drawn blood in this match. As he goes, clean. that Fennec looks nice. The Fennec, you have to buy it, right? It's a DLC. Going around there, still 1 0, filthy casuals. Barry, when I'm up in the air, are we going on a streamer date? The Quinn, 89. So he may be as old as me. Gets a pass from his captain and just a nice pre-jump there. And he gets it to go. Now we're tied up. Pyro says the person that broke rule one will now lose the series. Well, the thing is, it looked like a clean break from both people. But it's just weird that both their mind was there wanting to do that. Um, Clam Dog, yeah, when are you going to be up here? You, you, you'd have to see uh, uh, Buttons too. Buttons lives up here. Him and I haven't met yet. And Alpha Ritzy, captain of the fil filthy casuals. Let's get some, some some noise here. So you like kicking butts, do ya? Puts it on two one. Yo, wait, we having a party in the Pacific Northwest? I <laughs> I I think that's what. All our friendships was were culminating to eventually, but with COVID, it's a little tricky. My buddy from the Kent area and I need to go visit him again. <laughs> James wants you guys to social distance. All right, all right, all right. So two one, Alpha Ritzy. So far, both teams evenly matched. Gracious Pup distracting me with his Fennec. Chi Chi the tree around. Pup corrals it. He's got one man on, and it's Asher who just dives right into him, right into the play. Two, one, two minutes left. This is a best of five series. I think I was muted for the intro of the match. Because, you know, professional streamer, by the way. Touch back. Gracious Pup pops. Will that drop in? Ooh, demo there. Damn it, Bobby. Chi Chi the tree. No go. Asher coming around. He's got two casuals on the wall there. Pop up around. Bobbert. Is it just me or is tier four fast? <laughs> tier four has been fast this circuit. Coming around. Almost gets it to go. Chi Chi gets robbed. Or dunked. Whatever uh, verbiage you prefer there. Quinn touches. Another demo there. Get him a body bag! Yeah! Coming around. Quinn pops. Gracious Pup was backwards. Gives a backflip. And a decent 50. Chi Chi comes around. It crosses. A lot of action. He says he did it. You had to dang it, Bobby. I had to. My guys. My guys, my guys. Going around. Asher. No touch. Good touch from Bobbert. Quinn coming around. Quinn has had his nose around the ball. Comes off the wall. No, no go there. 
America's Greatest Anime. <laughs> you keep trying to push that narrative. Uh, let me know if you get a following. Make a Facebook group. Touch up. Ceiling down. Touch. Quinn. I almost got past Quinn. Another demo I hear. Chi up. Around. Grazes. So they already broke rule one. Let's see if they break the first rule of Rocket League. They are keeping it up in the air. Down. This benefits Pantheon greatly, but that one will hit the ground. Filthy casual strike first. Climb Dog can't believe they canceled uh, King of the Hill, but it did. Um, it did go a lot of a lot of seasons. All right, so filthy casuals, Chi Chi the tree, he doesn't need a goal to be MVP. Can I have five minutes, crying baby? We'll see if if they allow. And the filthy casuals are console players, so they cannot see in-game chat. Which reminds me of one of my favorite King of the Hill memes. Whereas if they could read, they'd be really upset right now. <laughs> Alright, so the Quinn 305. Pantheon is out here. And I, I gotta wonder if that baby was crying the whole time. I couldn't play through it. But let's see what we have here. Filthy casual strike first. It is a best of five. So going to spectate here. Oh, Clamp Dog, you say rule one isn't the first rule of Rocket League. No, no, no. It's a distinction. Rule one is what is the most famous one. Whereas if you lock noses, you stay there until God himself pulls you apart. And the first rule of Rocket League is to keep it up. Uh, before the ball, well, while the ball hits zero, which uh, obviously everyone breaks that one because we want to win games. So zero's on the board. Wait, wait, did anyone redeem animal effects? Okay, made me look. Made me look. <laughs> I can't believe you've never seen it, uh, Bangy. Coming around. Nice play by Chi Chi. He's already our MVP and hasn't scored a goal in the series. Oh, and a lot of action. A lot of clutter there outside Pantheon goal. Touch. Alpha. Down. Around. No go. Gracious pup. Corner. Coming in. So we're at zero. Oh, that one might sneak in. Touch there. Asher battles through. Bobbert. Puts it up around. Bobbert was trying to like shadow dribble <laughs> to his net. But Gracious Pup relieves him of it. Now that things have settled down, it seems like the filthy casuals are just maybe a, a hair, like like a quarter step quicker than Pantheon the, this far in the early going. Pup puts it around. Good touch from Alpha. Touchy Touchy tries to finish. Does he have a shooter? Gracious Pup gracefully takes that goal. 1-0. Good pass here. Can I get a... Oh, yeah! Kick 
Kick off goes the Bobber. Touchdown, Gracious Pup. Down in the corner. Keeping pressure on Quinn. Puts it out. Bobber pops up. For Quinn! Great play there. Obviously, it didn't, didn't end with points, but it's the, those kind of plays. You got to keep your opponents honest. And don't just let them just drive around hitting the ball whenever they want. You need to, to make them maintain positioning, maintain rotations. A lot of action, and Alpha Ritzy gets the better of it, too. Oh. Would you look at that? Filthy. Absolutely filthy. Pops up, Alpha Ritzy. Corner, corner out. This is scorable, and Asher will smoke that right, just tuck that right into the post here, right off of the captain's nose from the filthy casuals, but they are still down 2-1, and down in the series, 1-0. Touch, touch, Asher. Trying to negotiate something with Quinn. Wins a 50, stays on it. He's going to have a lot of casuals hanging all over him if he wants to get a pass or a shot. Around. Asher pops up. Alpha bringing around. Quinn pops it up off the wall. Touch there, a lot of back and forth. No one, no one quite wants it yet. <laughs> and every time I see the Quinn, it seems like he needs some, some boost. Someone help that man. For just two cents a day, you can provide the Quinn 89 with boost and not let him starve. He has nine there, threatening. Almost tying it up. No go. Coming around. Chi Chi the tree. No touch. Quinn is around. Dem another demo there. Why would you kill him like that? Plays, plays. But the casuals can't let it go, and Asher may get his second goal. And if he had, that would have been a close one as well. But now he's going to have to get on defense before Gracious Pup makes him pay. Pops, Ritzy, corner. Touch it around. Clear. Bobbert pops it. Ritzy, good touch there. All this matters is there, again, only a one goal difference. I believe we had last game as well, and that will land in the snow harmlessly as the filthy casuals are at match point now. GG's in the chat. So Gracious Pup, now he slides in, gets MVP. 397, a goal, two saves, six shots, 11 total from filthy casuals. And Pantheon Asher... Good performance from him, 406, but he's going to need a lot more help from his team going forward. And, you know, these games aren't crazy. It just seems like a play here, a play there, a one-goal difference. Up to this point, so definitely surmountable. <laughs> Real James says, whoever, whoever predicted a PC winning. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I know I know the casuals. And, uh, yeah, they, they can play. But puts it in. Going to get everyone involved on this one. Oh, Cristiano, Cristiano del área. Sigue Cristiano. No. Clamdog says, I haven't been watching. Yeah, you've just been flirting with buttons. But I like to think that my channel is a, a place for, for all kinds of shenanigans. 
I'm not gonna make you guys get a room. Like the rest of us will watch Rocket League and you guys can flirt up a storm. <laughs> Those console boys are sandbag. Another demo I hear. And Chi Chi the tree almost added one, but it's like double fakes. The most exciting audio for the most unexciting goal. <laughs> Robert pops it up. Asher. Asher, he's looked good. We like his style. He's rocking the, the Jericho antlers. Gracious Pup tries to stop it. But Bobbert, captain of Pantheon, puts one on and we're tied. Now again, these, these have been close games. So it, it's just plays like that that have been the difference maker. So let's see if Pantheon can build on that. <laughs> but in style with Jericho antlers. <laughs> would, you, would you put them on your level? That's for you to say. I, I try to keep the comparisons uh, sparse on, on my channel. I just I just want to call who's who's on the field all at once. Gracious pup pops, puts it down to the Quinn. Ritzy, she cheat the tree. Asher, a lot of commotion, but Bobber gets the better of it. He has them on defense. Another demo there. Get him a body bag. Yeah. Touching around. This one may be dangerous. Bobber is trying to make it so, but it comes off his back, back fender there. Corner in. No go. There's the Quinn. He sidesteps the 100 boost. I'll assume, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and says that, say that he had some. Will James says dinner time. Peace out James, appreciate you stopping by, kind sir. I got, I got two more matches, including the young man Woda. Gonna grace us with his twos game. Robert puts it out. Ritzy trying to prevent it, but he ends up serving up the other captain. So Robert, big clear. Ritzy can't handle it, and Robert goes right back. He knows what to do. So, you like kicking butts, do ya? It's now Pantheon. I believe this is their first lead of the series. Maybe early on in game one, but... This is the first time they've had hold, and it does not last for long as Alpha Ritzy comes right down the pipe. Ill-advised touch from the other captain. That was legitness. And a good play there. <laughs> Clamp Dog is console all the way. Never mind all the uh, workshop packs that he does. And that was narrow. It's definitely an awful dog. Touch there, Quinn. Corner, but Ritzy cuts it off. What's on? Quinn chasing the corner. Picks up 100 boosts, but the onslaught is coming, and Alpha Ritzy will finish by himself. 3 2. Pay him. Pay that man his money. He says, No, oh, yeah, I know you're talking about the win. Rings. <laughs> yeah. Buttons is hanging on for the comeback. Let's let's see what we got here. Alpha Ritzy smothers it. Goes down, gracious pup. Comes around, Chi Chi the tree. Gets behind him, he's boostless. He's on an island. Comes off the backboard. Bobbert tries the double tap. 
No go. Now we're down to 60 seconds. Demo there. Toasty! And Chi Chi the tree may escort this. Slips it in for two. Oh, like that! Good play there for two and. I know we had some of the chat pulling for Pantheon, but it looks like the Filthy Casuals may be walking away with this one. We'll see. Definitely plenty of time for a, a two-goal comeback, but their work is cut out for them. The the toasty clip from is from Mortal Kombat. Uh, literally any version of it. Links, appreciate. With Links, do you not follow me already? <laughs> Some people, man. How many matches do I have to cast for you, Links? Just kidding, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you dropping by for, uh, for sure as well. <laughs> Clef says he's a douche, but we are winding down here. Alpha Ritzy's gonna... This will go to the snow. And the Filthy Casuals finish out their week one win. Congrats to them. Let's look at the scoreboard and I will get set up for the post game interview. Links, I didn't realize. Yeah, I was just kidding. It happens. Sphinx says rip. So we have Chi Chi the tree. MVP in game one, MVP in game three. 477. Two goals, assist, save. That boy is busy. Busy, busy, busy. Let's see what we have here. As I call out to the man, Alpha Ritzy himself. Let's see if we can get this. Get this thing going. Ritzy. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going with you, man? Week week one, first win. How you feeling? Pretty good, man. That was a uh, that was an intense game, and there was a couple of mistakes here and there, but right. overall, it was a pretty good time. Right, right. You know, I got I got people in the chat. I'm I'm just a messenger. They're uh, accusing you guys of uh, sandbagging a little bit in uh, tier Aww. four. <laughs> uh, you know, you know what? Uh, I didn't choose the ranking system, so that's not uh, <laughs> something I can comment on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Everyone was kind of kind of punched in the gut were, were you scrambling at all to try to get it back to where you where you want to be for IGL yeah I think um last season we uh we played a good season but then we got stuck in the playoffs we got pretty nervous and messed up the first round which kind of sucked but uh this season we're looking to come up strong and uh play hard and get to the playoffs again right 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 so so let's see here who are we giving the game ball to you're, you're actually my first uh threes match of of the season that's awesome. Yeah. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for casting for us. Yeah, so who who are we giving the game ball to? MVP performance. Uh, I'm thinking Chi Chi the tree. He was uh kind of keeping series. us in the in the right rotation and right. he just kept us always on our on the ball. Okay. Is that like on the field or in comms or both? Both in general. Right, yeah, right. he uh he kept us in on in the right place at the right time. Right, yeah, you, you know, you had a good game yourself there, sir, but uh, ever the gentleman, you don't give yourself the game ball. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, man. All right, uh, any, any anyone you want to shout out, anything you want to mention, say? Um, all the Filthy Casual supporters. Thanks for coming out to watch. Ooh. Thanks for always being there. I had a couple people on uh, my stream sitting there watching, but um, I, don't, I don't know what was happening on your stream uh, on the IGL side, but right. if anyone was out there, thanks for coming to watch. We'll be out the next five weeks in a row for this season. So come out each week and show us the sport. Well said. Yeah, I didn't see – no, the chat was just kind of 
kind of hanging out. I didn't see anyone pulling for one or the other. There's a lot of PC Master Race talk, but you guys, uh, you <laughs> there guys always shut, is. You guys shut that down. <laughs> yeah, right, there's else, always sir? the PC Master Race yeah. conversation. Yeah, yeah. Anything else? No, I think that's it, man. Thanks All for right. casting, and uh, we'll probably see you again soon. That'd be great. Uh, congrats. Good luck. Thank you very much. Peace. Peace. All right. Alpha Ritzy, captain of the Filthy Casuals. You know, if anything, they're a sand, they're sandbaggers for their name, right? I mean, you say Filthy Casuals, but you come in, you put on a great performance, you sweep 3-0. Uh, hats off to Pantheon. Uh, well, well fought, you know. It, it, you know, I, the chat was pulling for them too. It seemed like at every moment, we thought maybe a Pantheon comeback was was in the works or something they can mount up, but that obviously never came to fruition.